Shannon DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a back, biceps, and abs workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing nine total exercises, and we're going to do them in groups of tri-sets, which is three exercises to a set. We're going to do three sets of each tri-set. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and in between the tri-sets, we'll then take a 30-second extended break. For the triceps on this workout, we will be working one specific muscle group. So starting with the first tricep, we are going to work back. The second tricep, we're going to do biceps. And then the third and final tricep, we will be working abs. So if you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And also be sure to check out our uh, Achieve Peak community we have available. And if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, Check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. Now let's get to work. We got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. And no, that is not a fitness tracking watch. That is my tan line from my fitness tracking watch. Jen has my watch on today. Okay, so our first exercise we're getting into is we're going to do double arm uh, clean pulls, hang clean pulls. So let's demonstrate that real quick. Grab our dumbbells. We're going to let the dumbbells hang in front of us, and then we're going to pull them up, and then let them come back down. There we go. External rotation. Come back down. Here we go. There we go. So if you want, you can get like a nice little rocking motion to help gain some momentum, and then bring them up, and then come back down. If you want to do like a full hang clean, then you can. You just got to come up and then flip your elbow out. There we go. You could also do a single arm hang clean as well. There we go. Do one more. There we go. Okay, next we're going into bent over reverse grip row. So we're going to bend at the hips and knees, keeping our back nice and straight here, palms facing away from us, and then we're going to pull the dumbbell from our knees to our hips. There we go. Some good controlled movements. Again, make sure that your back is nice and straight. You don't want to be bending over like this, trying to do this. If your back's a little weak, you could always drop one dumbbell and perform it like this, resting your free hand on your knee to help support your lower back. There we go. Get that squeeze at the top, pushing your elbows backwards. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, next movement, our third movement on this tricep is going to be a bent over row. So for this one, again, bend at the hips and knees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have our palms facing us, and then we're going to row from there. There we go. So it's okay on this one if your elbows kind of flare out. That's okay. And again, you're pulling it from the knees, and you're really trying to bring it around the belly button. Pull it up to around the belly button, not so much directly up the hip. There we go. Feel the back. Now you should kind of be feeling up at the upper center of your back. There we go. Nice straight back. There we go. 30 or a 15 second break, and then we're going into set two, going into clean pulls. If you want, you can do singles on this as well. You want to demonstrate singles on this? Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. You can also do them with you have your feet a little wider, a little bit more of a squat. Here we go. Remember to rotate the elbows as you come up. So we're not just doing like an upright row like this. We're actually getting the external rotation of the shoulders, which is the up and back. There we go. Going into reverse grip rows. Arm. That's, a, that's a trap workout. Feel it burning. Let's get ready for reverse grip rows here. Remember palms facing away. Come up, squeeze. Nice straight back. Come on. Good controlled movements. Squeeze. Let's go. Pushing the elbows straight back here. Come on, let's go. Last one. 
Get the squeeze and release. There we go. Woo. Feeling the burn quick. All right, we're going to regular rows here. Remember, on um, this one, your palms are going to be facing towards you. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Nice straight back. Remember, if you need to drop the one, that's fine. You're going to be doing this. Opposite or free hand goes onto the knee. Kick one leg back into a split stance. And you'll be able to do them like that. Help support that lower back. Come on. If not, work doubles so we can get that lower back work in today. Last one. There we go. Woo! Going back into cleans. Get ready. Here we go. Let's go. So even if you're doing doubles, you might want to just drop down just a little bit so that you can try to explode up and gain that momentum. Let's go. Come on. Let's get one more. Woo! There we go. Reverse grip rows. Coming up. Double arm uh, cream pulls is Tough. another story. A little different than a barbell. All right, let's get ready. Remember, palms facing away. Bring the uh, dumbbell from your knee up the hip. It's going to run right up the thigh. Come on. Push it back, so you should be feeling it right here, right in the lat, out there, just like that. There we go. I gotta start demonstrating with the opposite arm. Oh. <laughs> My left arm gets a ton of work. One more. There we go, going into regular rows. When I drop to show the muscle, I always use my left arm to oh. keep working. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting bulkier on my left side. Yeah, all lopsided. <laughs> Here we go. Start looking more weird than I already do. Come on. Never uh, nice straight back here. We don't wanna be hunched over like this. We also don't wanna be standing all the way up like this. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let's go. Come on. Last one. Get a nice squeeze. There we go. Right, we got a 30 second break. We're going into concentration curls on the left side. So we got one set left side, second set, or second exercise, uh, right side. Here we go. Are you going to do yours kneeling? Yeah, I like kneeling. I'll do mine standing. So you can do them either way. Standing or kneeling like Jen. Here we go. Here we go. Good controlled movements here. If you're doing them like Jen, make sure to have the back of your arm at the elbow braced on that inside leg or the inside of the leg so you can support it, take the pressure off the shoulders. Here we go. If you're doing it my way, make sure to just let it hang. We don't want to be pushing way up here or pulling like that. Focus on the bicep here, come on. Last one, get a nice squeeze. Here we go. Going to the right side now. Try to really isolate them right here. Here we go. Here we go. Get that squeeze, focus on the bicep here. When you bring it up, get that full contraction. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Come on. Squeeze. Tell that bicep to grow. 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 Bicep, grow. There you go. Come on. Let's get one more. There we go. All right. Third exercise here. We're going into a reverse grip curl. So we're going to go with both dumbbells here. And as we curl, 
our palms are going to face downwards. Here we go. So if you want to go straight out, you can. If you want to kind of bring them together like that, you can. As you come up, kind of do like a close curl like that, you can. Just make sure that when you're coming up, your wrists aren't bowed like this. You want to keep a nice straight wrist. The back of your hand should be even with the forearms. There we go. One more. There we go. I'm going up. Concentration curls left side, second set. I'm going up and wait. <laughs> Do it. Biceps won't grow. You ain't gonna work them. Hold on, here we go. There we go. Try not to go all the way down and let it get relaxed. We want to keep constant tension on the biceps. Here we go. Grow. Grow. There we go. Come on. Ah, let's go. Ah, push it. Let it burn. Come on. Ah, push it. Ah, woo. Ah, that is on fire. Woo. Catches fire. All right, go to the right side. I go. Yeah. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze at the top. Come on. Let's go squeeze that bicep. Make it work. Come on. Try not to use any shoulder. Let's go squeeze. Get that full contraction at the top. Squeeze. Let that bicep catch fire. Come on. Let's get one more. Woo. I'm talking about. They're on fire. I'm gonna massage that <laughs> lactic acid out of there. Going back to reverse grip curls here. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. So, I'm about to say, if you need to alternate, you can. You can follow Jen now. I don't have to demonstrate. Come on. Let's go. Remember, keep the wrist nice and straight, don't let them break. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ah. Push it out. Ah. One more. Ah. Woo. All right, going back into concentration curls. Left side. Sweat's starting to drip now. Let's go. Left side. Push it. Push yourself. Grow bicep. Grow bicep, get that squeeze. Ah, good controlled movements here. We don't need to go fast, we want nice, slow controlled movements. Ah, woo, come on, 10 seconds. Ah, push it out. Ah, one more. Ah, oh, brutal. Ah, Feeling the burn. Can almost not even clap. Yeah. Here, <laughs> keep shaking it out. Shake it out. I love that one. Come on. Let's work out the best. Let's go. Uh, when we get that squeeze at the top, really squeeze. And you're flexing in the mirror, showing off the guns. Come on. Good controlled reps. Uh, come on. Uh, push yourself. Let's go. We got a couple more in us. Let's go. One more. Last one. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Reverse grip curls, and we're going on the abs. The burn is real. Here we go. Just push it out. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on, good controlled movements. Palms facing the ground as you go up. Let's go. Come on. We got a couple more reps left in us. Let's go. Squeeze. Two more. 
squeeze. Last one. Ah. Woo! There we go. Now right, we got a 30 second break. We're moving into abs. Third try set here. All right, so we're gonna do our first two sets of the first exercise. We're gonna do a side plank with crunches, and our third set of this, we're gonna do a plank twist. So, demonstrate real quick. I'll go this way. So we're gonna get up on our side, and then from here we're gonna drop down to the ground, and then come all the way up. Here we go. So get that squeeze, really flex that side of the obliques over here. Kind of doing a little side plank crunch. Let's go. Come on. Let's push it. We're just staying here the whole time. Let's go. Get that squeeze. Squeeze. One more. Woo. All right, next. We're going into a sitting reverse crunch. So we're gonna sit like this. Just put your arms back a little bit, legs out in front of us, and we're actually gonna curl the legs up to us. Here we go. Get that squeeze. Engage the core. Focus on keeping it nice and tight. Here we go. Let's go. As you bring it up, squeeze. Bring it up, squeeze. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Get that squeeze. One more. All right, next one we're going into is a levitation crunch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be down on the ground in crunch position, except we're not actually gonna crunch up like this. What we're gonna try to do is squeeze the upper abs and get our shoulder blades off the ground. So using the upper abs, squeeze, get the shoulder blades off the ground, come back down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe, exhale when you're squeezing. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Engage the core, come on. Let's go. One more. Burning. All right, this time we're switching sides. So last time on the side plank with crunch, we worked the right side. This time we're doing the left side. So be on your left elbow here. Let's get ready. Drop down, come up, squeeze that side. Again, we're contracting the obliques on our left side as we come up. Exhaling as our hips go up. Inhaling as we go down. Here we go, come on. Push it. Ah, embrace the burn. Let's go. Let's go. Last one. Here we go. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. That's a good way to do them, huh? <laughs> that was my relaxing. Relaxing it out. Here we go. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Let's go. If you want, you could even kind of take your hands off the ground. Push it out. Let's go. Let's get that squeeze in. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Don't forget to breathe. One more. Here we go. Going to levitation crunches. Here we go. Remember, we're not doing a crunch. Also, don't pull your head with your hands. We're not trying to pull it up. We're trying to engage the core and use our abs to lift us off the ground here. Remember, exhaling as we go up, our hands are not pulling us. Let's go. We're using the upper abs here. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. One more. There we go. All right, going into our last set here. This time we're changing it up a little bit. So we're going to get in normal plank position. 
we'll actually uh, be on our elbows here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate side to side. There we go. Rotating side to side, keeping the core engaged, not letting our hips sag. Let's go. So now we're doing a plank twist, side to side. Still working the obliques. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't let the core sag. There we go. Woo! We get you some good work in. Going to reverse crunches here. Here we go. I like your relax yeah. method you got going on. We're almost starting to do the exercise yeah. that way. Come on. Squeeze. 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 Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. Squeeze. Heck yeah. Just to tell you where you're weak at. I definitely feel it in my lower abs during this whole thing more than anything. I think my obliques are pretty strong. Here we go, levitation crunches. Now we know what we need to work more often. Yeah. Let's get ready. Here we go. Engaging the upper core to get us up there. Not using the arms to pull our head. Try to get the shoulder blades off the ground. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you go up. Let's go. Come on. Couple more. Last one. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Woo. That was fun. You're still in the relax mode, huh? <laughs> Come on, mama. Ah, good stuff. I'm sweating good my balls still. Alright. If you like this workout, smash that like button. Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to go check out our community that we just opened, and if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. See you guys.